Okay, well, I write and draw stories, so I'm interested, interested in how words and pictures really work together. And um, what's interesting is how simple drawings and simple words can really make something really actually quite complicated. And what's really interesting to me is actually where our writing came from. And all our writing once was drawing. So the alphabet, our alphabet, was all pictures. In fact, every alphabet all around the world was once pictures. So when writing was first invented 3,000 years ago, our letters looked a bit different, but you can still see that they were pictures. So the letter A, like that, when it was first invented, people wrote it like that. And that was a picture, a picture of something. So they wrote it that way up. And it was actually a picture of a, a cow. And you can see the cow's horns. And the first letter of, an alpha, of the alphabet was a cow because cows were very important to people. You knew how rich you were by how many cows you had. And um, they're still very important to us today, aren't they? And the letter B, 3,000 years ago, used to be written like that. And that was a picture of a house, actually. And you can see somebody added another story on, another floor on top of the house. And so you can see that's the letter B. And you can see that our alphabet was invented in a hot country because it's got a flat roof. Um, another one is the letter M used to be written like that. And that's actually a picture of water. And then the letter O, like that, and that was a picture of an eye. So they're all pictures. The letter R is a really good one, actually, just to finish with the letter R. And that was like this. When it was first invented, And you might recognise who that's supposed to be. Not a very good drawing, but I've done my best. As a portrait of the Pharaoh of Egypt, the King of Egypt. So that was the letter R. So all of our letters were once pictures. So when I'm drawing, when I'm telling a story, I'm really just focusing on communicating, just trying to just sort of tell a story with my pictures. So. If I draw Grendel, if I draw Grendel, I just use very simple letter shapes. So Grendel's face is just a U shape. And I draw a hat on the U, and then his eyes are both little U shapes, and he's got a little straight nose and a crooked smile in this picture because he's he's feeling quite pleased with himself and he's had he's had a good idea and big monster teeth and curly horns and little round ears and then his shoulders are just two curves so it's all like well, to me, it's like letter shapes. It's not so different from writing. It's picture writing, really. And in this picture, he's crossing his claws and he's got his eyes closed. So he's making a wish. And he's got short, fat legs and three claws on the bottom of his feet. And all over his body, more letter shapes. This time it's letter V shapes, which are just like little spiky monster scales all over his body. And sometimes I think drawing patterns, it's almost like knitting, just doing the same shapes again and again. But all together it makes a picture. So there's Grendel making a wish. Need 
some new colours for the rest of the picture. And he's thinking I wish and I'll draw some chocolate because perhaps he's wishing for chocolate. Just draw some chocolates at the bottom. And what else shall I draw? I'll draw the ground and a tree in the background. I don't know if that's a chocolate tree or not. It's hard to tell in this picture, isn't it? I'll do some mountains in the distance. So to me it's just like picture writing, just using simple shapes. And the thing is when you're telling a story you've got to be able to draw the same pictures again and again all through the book. So it's important not to make it too difficult for yourself otherwise you'll never, you'll never do it, you'll never finish. So there's Grendel, Grendel making a wish. I'm not sure what he's wishing for, perhaps he's wishing for chocolate. Mm -hmm.